Beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. I hope you're doing oh so well. Shouts out to my returning subs, anyone new to the channel. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. Happy month of May. So ask what good things are coming towards you guys for the month of May, just to start off this reading. Then we will get into love. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Three of Cups can signify a lot of things. You can talk about celebrations. For example, um, a christening, a baby shower, an engagement. It can signify family getting together. You know, having the right people around you. And family doesn't define by blood. Family can talk about friends that are on your same vibration, same soul tribe as you. That type of thing, okay? Celebrating life, as it were. The Knight of Pentacles signifies that... I I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be much more productive for the month of May, setting your intentions, your goals for the month ahead, what it is that you want to achieve in a very realistic way. The Queen of Pentacles shows me that you are a valued member of your family, your circle, your support network. People go to you when they just want good vibes. So I feel that's going to be a month where you you are valued, what you say is valued, you're nurturing any energy, your kind energy, your loving energy, the generosity that you present others with. And then I went on to love. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Cancer on the bottom of the deck. I feel here like, um, again, we have something here to do with wealth, family, inheritance planning like a business how to make money maybe with a friend or maybe with family members with regards to love it can show commitment it can show something long term planning a future here okay what else is coming towards virgo in love for the month of may something to celebrate here six of wands recognition someone recognizing you probably for something kind that you've done for them i feel like someone looks up to you here it could be this king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy with regards to love i feel like this is someone there's a very supportive energy with regards to love for the month of may okay this could be again with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio we've also got fire and earth energy here it could be any sign but um i feel like a, wow i feel like there's so much there's good stuff really happening for the month of may look at all this energy virgo we have the wheel of fortune the ten of cups the nine of cups a lot of celebration here a lot of wishes coming true for the month of may we're going to clarify some of these energies but um mm -mm -mm. I mean, I have been saying something beautiful is coming for the month of May for quite some time. Let's clarify this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here for Virgo? I feel like there's somebody that's going to say this month, Virgo, I've missed you. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. They may present you with a gift. This is somebody that you may not see all the time. You know, sometimes you don't have to see everybody or talk to them every day to know that you guys are um, great friends or a great connection. The right people around you. Mm -hmm. One more card. Why is the Three of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles. I definitely feel like there's going to be an old friend or family members that are going to express how much they've missed you. Your kind and giving energy. I definitely get that with the three of cups let's talk about this ten of pentacles with regards to love why is the ten of pentacles here why is the ten of pentacles here the eight of swords so i feel like i want to say somebody's stuck on you there's somebody here that wants to break yeah, like they want to break the the generational stuff. They want a really new potential, fresh beginning here, a fresh start, movement, success. Yeah, I get this 
two aces here i get this energy of a fiery new beginning all systems go trying to remove stuck energy so it could be how someone feels towards you and they want some movement this month why is the nine of cups here the two of cups so we see a love situation here where they five of wands which can signify that the, perhaps there's been it feels intense perhaps um there's been arguments or disagreements in the past i feel like there, there may be some gray areas or stuff that needs to be discussed but we've also got the ten of cups there which signifies a lot of love here in this reading two ten of cups there's definitely i think somebody is really besotted with you virgo sees a future with you knows it's not going to be easy but knows that you tick all the boxes you're their wish come true maybe you guys are on the same vibration and you've always kind of wanted the same goals in life why is the wheel of fortune here somebody going to be taking action here taking charge of a situation there could be an age gap between you guys both like, I always get this blank canvas here, you know, opening up your heart. I feel like someone is going to express their love for you for the month of May. Look at this. Really express how they feel about you. So, bear that in mind, Virgo. Someone will be expressing exactly how they feel about you. Only you would know, like, if this is your true energy, if this is someone that you're supposed to be with it could be someone that betrayed you in the past mm -hmm. let's clarify this king of cups why is the king of cups here tell me more about the king of cups something here to do with being on a break being on a pause a lot of reflection here a lot of laying back thinking about you what's the next step here what's the best i see a lot of reflection here a lot of healing, a lot of patience, like someone is needing or having to be patient before this happiness comes in or acts in an appropriate way. Organize for success. Definitely picks up on the beginning of the reading. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of of purpose organizing your thoughts your reports your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps yeah so i feel like there's a lot of productive stuff going on this month for a lot of virgos clearing debts your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life you already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well getting your finances in order deservingness you are a beloved child of God, like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. You deserve to be happy. You know, as it says, you're a beloved child of God. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So you're being called upon to take a risk, take a chance, maybe on a situation, a person, a particular idea or project bountiful nature spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration reminds you of god's infinite abundance go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet meditate beneath a tree garden sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with your limited vastness that's exactly what i did today i took a very long walk and it was just a nice, I thought it was a nice way to start off the month, you know, start as you mean to go on. What's the hidden truth? 
so these are the last call cards i'm going to call out sometimes i stay awake thinking about you this could be someone in particular this could be your energy we both know i am not the one for you could be how you're feeling or your person's feeling hidden truth so many things remind me of you You came closer than anyone. I want to be more than friends. I couldn't let you get close to me. I replay our conversations over and over. Yep, you really do stick on people, Virgo. Anyway, that's me done. Hopefully it resonated with you in some way. It looks very promising for the month of May, I must say. Some good times ahead. Please remember you can book me for a personal, follow me on the socials and catch me for live tarot. As I always say, beautiful Virgos, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. And the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my loves. Mwah.